Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to give you a quick overview of what is agent force. Basically, it's a new name for Einstein Copilot and what are the usage of these? We are going to talk about some important points related to the exam. So be attentive in this lecture. So the first thing is what is Einstein Copilot or agent force? Einstein Copilot takes the power of the Salesforce CRM and the convenience of an AI assistant, then adds the complex natural language processing abilities of large language models like ChatGPT to understand and engage with you in a conversational way. So what it is, it is basically an AI assistant that sits on top of Salesforce CRM. So it has information about all your CRM data, all your records, etc. So it sits on top of Salesforce CRM. It's an AI assistant who understands natural language. Basically, it can communicate in a human form with you and it can perform tasks for you. It is a co-pilot. It is basically a helping hand in figuring out your task. Einstein Copilot is an AI powered virtual assistant integrated into Salesforce, offering contextual guidance and automation to optimize user productivity. To increase the user productivity, to optimize the user productivity, this is a virtual assistant that is integrated into Salesforce and it offers a contextual guidance, means the response that it is going to give you, it is going to be within the context. So if you remember when we were playing around with Einstein Copilot in the previous tutorial, not every time we have to give the context, right? It understood where the conversation is coming from, what the user is asking, and it will figure out the response in that context. So that is what Einstein Copilot is. It's the virtual AI assistant that performs actions or tasks for you. It understands the natural language. Now, the next important thing is five building blocks of this Einstein Copilot, okay? So the first is the agent. The Einstein Copilot is a trusted conversational AI assistant seamlessly built into the Salesforce interface, right? So if you remember, we had an agent created at the very first, which was called Einstein for Copilot. You can configure that agent based on what actions that agent can perform, what topics that agent will be able to answer things on. So all these things are available under that Einstein Copilot, right? So if I go back, I'll show you what I'm talking. So under this Einstein Copilot, if I go here, if you go and click on Einstein Copilot, this is your first agent that you have created. You can create multiple agents also. Let's say one agent for sales request, one agent for servicing. So you can create multiple agents, but the pro, the, pro, uh, the org that we are using doesn't have the licenses in order to create multiple agents, okay? Then over here, when you open it in Builder, you saw topics. Topics is nothing but a category. And then under each of the topics, these are actions associated under that particular topic. And you can select which actions you want. And the actions are of two types, standard and custom. If something cannot be achieved using your standard actions, you can create your own custom actions as well. So if I go back here, so you see what are actions? Actions are how a co-pilot get things done. A co-pilot includes a library of actions which are individual tasks the co-pilot can perform fetching the record, summarizing the information, creating a draft email, all of these are certain actions that your co-pilot can do. Topic, topic is a category of actions related to a particular job to be done. So if you have kind of discriminated or differentiated different, different tasks under a, let's say uh, this will answer you only questions related to billing, or this will answer you, uh, you created a topic called billing. And so it will only address questions related to the billing. Let's say you created a category, then you create another category for uh, sales. So let's say this will, this particular topic is everything related to sales. So you can create multiple topics under your Einstein Copilot, multiple actions will be tied to a particular topic. Then you have is the reasoning engine. Einstein Copilot reasoning engine orchestrates how a co-pilot launches topics and actions during a conversation to accomplish a task for the user. So if you remember when we were playing with Einstein Copilot, we were asking, hey, can you give me the status number? Can you give me the order status? And then it asked you, what is your order number? All of that, right? So in between there was this first important thing is was figuring out what topic that question belong to then under that topic what actions can i execute and then you can execute multiple actions let's say you're in one place you're first fetching the record then you're creating a record summary so you can do multiple actions and first important thing is you'll have to figure out which topic that question belong to 
so all of this orchestration is happening with the help of reasoning engine this reasoning engine is called as the planner service and the fifth building block is the large language model einstein copilot is an ai assistant and it harnesses the power of an llm to communicate with users and take action in your org it understands the human language it understands the uh, is an ai assistant and it uses the power of llm to communicate with the users and take actions in your org means perform tasks for you so these are the five building blocks so what are the five building blocks you have agent then you have actions topics the reasoning engine and then you have is the large language model now reasoning engine is the one that orchestrates which action to take what topic it belongs to all of that the orchestration of launching topic and actions during a conversation to accomplish a task happens behind the scene and this is called as that is the purpose of the reasoning engine this is about einstein copilot in the next tutorial we are going to talk about what are the characteristics of einstein copilot okay so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you